Let's have a look at how the kidney functions and the main role of the nephron, which is within the kidney. Take a look at the diagram of the kidney. You have the renal vein carrying away the clean blood after the renal artery brings it into the kidney. Within the kidney is situated the Bowman's capsule and the tubule that form the nephron. Within the Bowman's capsule is a glomerulus that is connected by the renal and by the renal vein to carry back the supplies. Whereas the tubule goes on further into the urine collecting duct after the nephron filters off the impurities. Then it passes through down into the ureter in the form of urine. Let's have a look at how this transpires. Each kidney is made up of a large number of small excretory units called nephrons. The nephrons comprise of a cup-shaped structure called the Bowman's capsule that is connected to a tubule and the Bowman's capsule contains a bundle of blood capillaries called the glomerulus. It takes millions of nephrons to form one kidney. One end of the glomerulus comes out to join the renal vein. The glomerulus filters the blood of its impurities and the filtered substances that collect in the Bowman's capsule. Those that cannot be filtered remain behind in the blood. One end of the tubule is connected to the ureter while the other to the Bowman's capsule. The function of the nephron is to reabsorb the essential and useful substances back into the blood. The waste material that cannot be reabsorbed remains in the tubule. After all the substances have been reabsorbed, the remaining waste material, now called urine, is stored in the nephron. This urine contains water, uric acid, some salts, and urea. The nephron carries this urine into the collecting duct of the kidney and where later on it is carried into the ureter and passes into the urinary bladder. Here it is stored for some time and then passed out through the urethra. At times what happens due to infection or injury, high blood pressure or high blood sugar levels, the kidney can cease to function or stop working completely. This is because the buildup of urea and the amount of water in it is not being regulated properly. This can result in death. If this happens, then a donor kidney may need to be transplanted or the patient may have to be hooked up to a dialysis machine. This dialysis machine separates and removes nitrogenous wastes from the blood. This process of procedure of using a machine to remove toxic waste like urea and cleaning the blood is called dialysis. I hope you have enjoyed the presentations. If you'd like to see more presentations, you can always visit us on our website at www.arinjacademy.com. Furthermore, for a subscription, you could always check us out on Facebook at www.facebook.com slash academy. You can subscribe to us also on our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash c slash Academy. Thank you.